This Florida cooking segment is brought to you by Fresh from Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida. Chef, you went luxury on us. What do we have here? Yes, these beautiful Florida stone crab claws and luxurious Florida caviar. Mm -hmm. It is awesome, and we're going to eat it. I can't wait. <laughs> Chef, I see a lot of goodness over there. What, yeah, what, what do you, what we do you have got some here? phenomenal stuff today. Look, I have this beautiful Florida caviar here. Florida caviar. It's amazing Explain. stuff. Yeah, so this is sustainable. Florida caviar from Sturgeon, raised right here in Florida. You gotta be kidding. This is out of Sarasota. Yep, absolutely. The Bradyton area. What? Yeah. Okay, and then. So not only that, <sighs> look at these bad boys. I mean, oh these gosh, are chef. incredible. These are colossal Florida stone crabs. Look at that. As corn. sweet as you can get. I mean, this is a true Florida delicacy right here. This is probably the most prized crab meat in the entire world here, right here. How often do you eat caviar? <laughs> Not that am often. I, am I missing something? <laughs> Once a year for me. So I have these beautiful buttered toast points. These are done just like, kind of like a grilled cheese, a little okay. butter and in the pan, so they're toasted up. You got that buttery flavor. You got a little bit of sour cream here. Mm. I'm just gonna put a dollop on. I don't have a lot of experience with caviar. Chef, what should we be looking for here? So we just want to buy our caviar from a reputable dealer, somebody that we okay. trust, right? And that's what we have here, a Florida company. They're phenomenal. Look at these beautiful eggs, huh? Wow. Let me just taste one of those. Yeah, let's let's try a little quick little taste here. I mean, what should caviar taste like, Chef? Oh, man, it should be just a little bit briny, sweet, a little buttery. Oh, wow. Mm. That is so mm. good. A little salty. Man. What a unique flavor. Oh, 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 just a little bit here on top of my sour cream and my toast points. I mean, this is a great time to be in food. I mean, I feel like there's so many people doing really so is. many unique, creative things with food. And this is an example Absolutely. of somebody who said, hey, well, let's just create a sustainable industry around these sturgeon. Yes. So this is one of my other favorite preparations to eat caviar. I've got some hard-boiled egg here. And again, we're going to go with a little bit of sour cream just on top. We'll get a nice little generous oh, scoop of this caviar on top. This is like black gold, Chef. I mean, oh, totally. this stuff is not cheap, but man, is it good. It is so good. So we're just gonna take our plate here. Okay. We're just gonna go a few around like this. I don't know a lot about caviar, but this stuff is absolutely amazing. It tastes really good. So let's go ahead and move this over. We'll get back to that later. So we can't eat that right now. No, not right. yet. Don't touch it. Yes. I'm familiar with these. Our stone crab. Ooh and look at these bad boys. They are huge. This is the sweetest, best crab, I would say, in the entire world. And the great thing about it, it is a sustainable product. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when these guys harvest these, they can take off one or two claws. Yep. Mm -hmm. Within a couple years, a stone crab regrows the claw. Absolutely. Which is amazing. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, thank you. Um, <laughs> and goes on to live and makes claws and makes claws and then, yeah. you know, here they end up right here and we're about so to eat them. So we have a short season for stone crab claws, so, but when it is in season, you need to take advantage and try these. Yeah. And look, I got you a little surprise. Look what? at this. Your very own crab claw necklace. Oh, look at you. Isn't that nice? Is one of you, you something you got on the, your many travels? Yes, that's right. I uh, was at a big seafood expo. There's a wonderful yeah. gentleman who makes these and, uh, you know, he gave me a couple, so I wanted to give you one. Oh. Because I know you love all things Florida, so mm. you wear that with pride. Whoa. No, it doesn't did, smell. Did you I clean checked. Okay. I yeah, checked. I my hand. All right, okay. so I know you've opened these bad boys before. So I have. This is what I this use. This one's going to be for you. Whoa, whoa, which whoa, one? whoa, whoa. Which one? This one's mine. Which one's yours? Yeah, that one's yours, but I don't think you're using that thing. This is how I get it. You were going to pulverize that, and I don't think we want to. I'm gonna put stone crab will go everywhere. <laughs> oh okay? no. Stop. <laughs> okay, show me how you do it, Chef. Well, I like to use a spoon, um, and I have one for you. Okay. And I'm not gonna completely pulverize. I just wanna kind of crack the shell a little bit, so. Because you don't want that shell going into a bunch of pieces and that gets in the meat. Is that's that right? right, that's right. And we don't wanna damage this beautiful meat. You looking for those big cracks? Yeah. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh. And this is part of the fun of it, is working with these. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I'm getting weak, oh, Chef. That's phenomenal. Oh, gosh, I can't wait to eat this. Oh, man. Look at that, Chef. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, it does cool. not get any better than this. No, it doesn't. What I've got is a little bit of mayonnaise. So now we're now this is a dipping sauce? Is yeah, that what this, this is going to be a dipping sauce. Yep. Okay. I got a little bit of herbs, just a little chives, some mm. parsley. I've got some spicy horseradish mustard. So you can use Dijon if you like. Oh. I've got a little bit of Florida honey just to give it just a little bit of sweetness. And then, of course, 
the key limes. For those who don't aren't familiar with a key lime, I mean, that's it. That's a full-grown key lime right there. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's pungent little things. So condensed, so tart, and this little lime has you know tons of flavor. World famous with key lime pies, and I know you use them a lot. Oh yeah, absolutely. In your products. My last one here. And I got a little bit of seasoning blend here, a little seafood seasoning blend going in. All right, so we've got our stone crabs with our key lime mustard sauce. We've got our wonderful Florida caviar in a couple different ways on our toast points and with our eggs. Chef. <laughs> okay. My favorite part. I'm going here. Where are you right, going? I'm going for caviar. All right, I'm going the, go. the I'm going stone crabs. I'm going eggs on eggs. Oh. Mm. For this recipe and many more, go to howtodoflorida.com. I'm trying to caviar here. Mm. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by Fresh From Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida. <laughs>